Okay, we left off uh, deciding that the bull wasn't running very good and we figured that we would find out what is wrong with the drive. So one of the simplest things that we can do right now is to check each one of these spring banks and check the bolts at the top and the bottom just to make sure they're tight. That would be one of the simplest things that we can check real quickly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to check each one of these and I'm not going to make them too tight but I just want to make sure that they're snug. And you can see that we're just going to real quickly try each one. And that seems to be snug. Then we'll come over here and do the same over here. And you can see I am using a pipe. I do want a little extra leverage more than what I could do with just my bare hand. Just one extra little pull here. And let's try this lower one. Oh, and this one is very loose. So this is most likely the reason that we were having a problem. So either it loosened up while it was being used, or it's quite possible if it was in, in for service, somebody had, had loosened it. So now let's try to put the bolt back on it and find out if we corrected the problem. And we don't necessarily have to put the shell on for testing, but when we're done, we probably should put the shell on to make sure we're getting the proper amplitude. And as you can see, I am using a pipe to tighten the center bolt. I do want to make sure that it is tight enough Doing it by hand may not be enough. So let's see what happens here. Now we can see that all the parts are moving around in the bowl nice and evenly again. And that's exactly what we wanted. So even if we turn it up higher, we're still getting a nice even flow of parts. So at that point, we would be ready to put the shell back on the bowl. And it looks like that fixed this particular problem.